So this is my Invisible 360 drone. It is an FPV drone, that means I fly this via a pair of goggles. It has the DJI FPV system in it, HD FPV system in it, and I'm using the Cadex Vista, where the board is mounted here. I'm using the Insta360 EVO camera for the 360 camera, and so this is the latest version of my Invisible drone. So almost three years ago I built this one. This is my first invisible drone using the Samsung Gear 360 camera. It's yeah, it was okay the camera and and it was yeah, quite cheap also. But I was always concerned about breaking or scratching the glass of the lens while landing or when crashing. So the drone so I ended up doing not many videos with it uh, with this setup. So I have some of the videos here in my playlist. You can click it here, yeah. But also the camera is not that good as the state-of-the-art Insta360 camera, so I was always not happy with this setup. So then early this year I tried to change the camera. I had this already for a long time in mind, but still have the big concerns about breaking the glass of the lens. Then I changed the setup because finally I get a Insta360 EVO camera that was cheap enough to build this setup. Yeah, I changed the 3D printing parts here so that the EVO camera can be mounted here. I did some first video with this, but still got a problem when I land or crash, the lens is very exposed to the button. And when the lens is damaged, the camera cannot be used anymore. I'm also doing only a few videos with this setup, so because of this. Then I tried bring up some prototypes here, where I turn the whole thing around from where the FPV camera is placed. And I started build a camera lens protection that can automatically protect the lens while remote control using the servo, especially for landing and, and starting. Yeah, and then after some prototypes I came up with this version that was actually already fully functional. So and this is the final result, how it looks now. As you can see here the cover for the camera is in its down position. And I have this little servo motor here that pulls the cover back once it had, it, uh, had been started. So I start with the lens cover down, once I'm in the air I flick a switch and the cover goes up and out of the view of the camera. And in the back I also put a 3D printed part here. I can't use a normal battery strap because yeah, it's too much exposed, especially in the bottom of the construction. So I do not have that much space to bring everything in the blind spot of the camera so that nothing is visible from the camera. 
It works now. I'm using these rock bands here. It works quite well. In my first try I used some zip ties, but after my first crash I ruined the battery with this because the zip tie just cuts into the battery. So now I use these rubber bands here and I hope it's better now. So far so good. Then I printed some additional 3D parts, 3D printed parts here uh, to especially for, for holding the, the, the antenna here for the Calix Vista and also for the XT60 um, connector here. Just to keep it out of the way. Still always have the problem with uh, <laughs> keeping everything tight and everything uh, slim that it is not uh, in, the, in the camera view. And here is the uh, using crossfire module for for the RSC, you can also use the Cadex Vista if you want. Uh, but I used the um, Crossfire here and therefore I also did a, a 3, 3D part to have the right angle here. Um, and I... What else did I print? Ah, then I did this cover here. Um, this is also uh, maybe... Can be proved here to be... To covering more of the, of the, the drone here. So, yeah. So once again you can see here the, the Martian 7 frame, uh, it's a 7 inch frame as I said before and here's the 3D pinning part of the back and uh, here's the front of the cover of the lens. Yes and you see here the, the cut, uh, like I, that I cut the, the frame here. This is the only modification to the frame that has to be done. And um, yeah I also used uh, I think two button plates of the Martian frame because I had some uh, in spare from, from, my, from other Martian frames. They're all using the same um, button blades. I used two button blades. It's, I think it's also possible using uh, one button and a top plate. But this one is uh, more, more stable, I guess. So when I order now a new Martian 7 frame, you can also order a button plate for, for, as a spare part. I put the link in the description if you want to yeah, build one of these. So what we see here is how the cover works. So now it's down, up, and the servo. Regarding the, the battery, so uh, I use this uh, lithium high voltage uh, from Bolt, to energy Bolt, 1300. Um, they are, yeah, they, they're 4S batteries, so I, yeah. I, it's a 4S quad right now, and um, yeah, these 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 batteries has when they, I think when they initially came they had about 27 millimeters uh, thickness, uh, that, but now they're already blown up a little bit, so they are now about three centimeters, so 30 30 millimeters uh, thick, and that's the maximum. I <laughs> like I told before, I had to use these rubber bands here. Uh, otherwise you, it's in the picture and actually it's already in the picture but um, yeah the stitching algorithm keeps it out you have to avoid dynamic switch uh, dynamic stitching because if you're using dynamic stitching you will see the battery from time to time and also the motors so you have to switch this out otherwise it will not be a good stitching um, so but when it's it's switched off the dynamic stitching then it works uh, with this battery for example so if you liked what, what you saw, just give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you want to, yeah, to get some news and some updates to my tr invisible 360 copter. Thanks for staying with me and uh, watch this video so far. So uh, I hope I see you in the next video and uh, yeah, stay healthy.